All right, take a look at this. Emergency repairs, they started this week on this scenic stretch of the Santa Cruz coast, and it started to crumble right into the ocean after the recent storms. Take a look at that. And our chopper was overhead as the cranes were starting to put the boulders in the area along West Cliff Drive. It's along the waterfront there. Huge waves caused the road and cliff just to buckle below. Our Devin Feely has more on the plan to try and prevent any further damage. The repairs being made to Westcliff Drive are being described as a band-aid and not a permanent fix, but a band-aid made up of giant boulders that cost lots and lots of money. The city's plan is to backfill Westcliff Drive with 200 tons of boulder and rock to prevent further damage from any additional storms this winter. And the cliff here gets battered quite often, but I've never really seen it this big. Chris Hosmer has lived a block from West Cliff in the ocean for the past 40 years. He knows exactly what Mother Nature and wind and water can do, but would still like to see the road repaired and reopened. Is it worth it trying to stop Mother Nature from eroding this sea cliff? Well, I think li living a block away, I hope they fix it because I don't want my house underwater, but uh, a lot of people come here and enjoy this coast. City officials estimate the emergency repairs will likely cost $200,000 or more. The price tag for the permanent fix is upwards of $10 million, a lot of money spent on an area that will likely forever be vulnerable to erosion. Yeah, we have chunks of the cliff that fall in all the time. Tommy Hall lives nearby and, like many, a curious neighbor came to check on the repairs as giant boulders were hoisted by a crane down onto the beach. The damage from this winter storms has reignited a debate about the future of Westcliff. How should it be protected and preserved, and at what cost? For Tommy, the answer is simple. Ultimately, I want to see a lot of aspects, you know, Westcliff saved in some regard. Um, you don't want to just see it deteriorate, but done thoughtfully and effectively. City officials said they had very little choice other than to make these repairs. The winter isn't over yet, and there was strong surf that was being predicted. And if they did nothing, that would likely cause even more damage and even more erosion. So Devin tells us the city says it could be several months or longer before West Cliff is actually fully repaired and reopened. The Coastal Commission also has a role to play. They would have to green light any permanent repairs.